Hi guys, it's Jess and welcome back to my channel. I'm here with another quick uh, Target haul. I went back to do another one of the spend 20 get $5 gift card um, beauty promotions that's running this week until Saturday, mainly because of some new Ibotta bonuses. I think they're called level up bonuses. I finished the first one and I'm halfway through the second one after this transaction. And if you complete all three bonuses by the end of the week, it works out as $10 um, in extra bonuses. So that's why I'm trying to do it. Um, so, that's why I went back. Um, this transaction ended up being, I think, basically free um, after all the rebates and um, including tax. So without tax, it would have been a money maker, but it was completely free um, after tax. So let me show you what I got. I did repeat the L'Oreal deal because that's how you get the extra $5 gift card because they are on promotion for buy four, get five. So that way when you're spending 20, you're getting $10 back straight away rather than just the five in the ad. So I picked up um, two of the shampoos and conditioners at $3.99 and two of the styling products at $3.99. So that brought my total to $15.96. So I still had uh, $4.04 .04 to hit the $20. And I just went rummaged through the um, makeup clearance bin, which is where I got these from. I picked up two of these Revlon Color Change eyeshadows. They were originally $8.49, but they were on clearance for $2.54. Um, plus we had coupons, which is why I picked those up. So that added uh, $5.08. So I went over the $20 mark. And then I also just picked up one of these because I knew it would be basically free with a coupon. And that was the Crayola Sally Hansen Insta Dry in the white. It was $4.09 on clearance for $1.22. So the total before coupons for all six, seven items was $22.26. So I then scanned the in-ad coupon. I actually just used the one in my Cartwheel app today. So that triggered a $5 gift card straight away. And um, then we did the manufacturer's coupons. I was going through self-checkout and the L'Oreal L5 coupons always have issues about not um, attaching to the right product. The Revlon did the same and the Sally Hansen did. The guy could tell they were the right products. So we just ended up making it work. But anyway, so I had a $2 Peely on one of the stylers. I had the $2 internet print printable on one L'Oreal L5. And then I had the four off of two, which works on the L5 and the stylers from the, what was it? The 610 Smart Source um, that expires this Sunday. So that took off $8 straight away. I had two of the $2 off Revlon Eye coupons also from the 610 Smart Source. So that was another $4 off. So I got $12 off already. And then a dollar off Sally Hansen. Um, I'm not sure what insert that was from. That was a few inserts ago, but it was a dollar off the Insta Dry or Nail Care. So it worked on this one. So my total went down to $11.26 after taking off um, $11 in coupons. So pretty self-explanatory. Actually, I'm just looking at my receipt and I can see that one of the Revlon ones didn't come off for some reason. Um, I'm not gonna go back, I don't think. It's probably not worth the drive for $2, but it actually should have come down to $9.26 and made this an actual money maker. Um, I didn't pick it up at the time because we were having so many issues. Um, you can see up top here, it came off the first one but for some reason it didn't come off the second one. So I paid $11.26 plus tax, so $12.26. However, I rolled the two, uh, I had two $5 gift cards from the last transaction because I knew I'd get them straight back. So I paid $2.26 out of pocket. So basically mostly tax or a dollar, a dollar out of pocket plus tax. But then I got back on, I bought a um, 50 cents for one of the L-Vives and 75 cents, so a dollar and 25 cents. So that um, brings it down to just a dollar out of pocket. And then, um, sorry, no, one of these on um, Checkout 51, there is a dollar back on a Revlon eye product. So I submitted for that and should get that back because I technically didn't even use a coupon on one of them. So it's well and truly within the rules. So that's a dollar back on that one. So that basically makes it completely free, um, including like with after tax completely free or before tax a dollar or something money maker. Should be a three dollar money maker because um, of that coupon issue I've just noticed. But other than that, it's a really easy way to roll gift cards at Target and stock up on some beauty and healthcare products. So update guys, I went back to Target really quickly because that $2 missing coupon was really irritating me. Um, they gave me the $2 back. So the transaction was ended up being 26 cents out of pocket, then a dollar and 25 cents back on Ibotta and a dollar back on Checkout 51, making it a uh, $2 money maker altogether. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, share or comment below. If you've not yet done so, I would love it if you subscribe to my channel. And if you are a subscriber, make sure you've got that bell icon clicked so you're notified every time I post a new video. And make sure you check out my makeup stockpile tour. Um, 
which I posted yesterday because there is a giveaway at the end of that video for reaching 300 subscribers. So thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you next time. Bye.